Motivation is a really funny thing because a lot of the time we watch YouTube videos, we scroll on Instagram, we look at our favorite influencers that motivate us, but rather than getting long-term motivation, we just get into this excited emotional state for a few minutes. And if we're really honest with ourselves, by the time we get back to work, <laughs> there's not that much motivation. So how do we actually get into real motivation? Well, today I want to share with you a few life hacks to motivate you to do anything. Hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Richard. I'm an entrepreneur as well as a high performance coach. And today I want to give you four different life hacks that I've been cultivating myself and I really hope that by the end of this video you're gonna get loads of value so the first life hack I want to give you is what I like to call instant immediate action look a lot of the times whenever we look at any kind of goal or task there's this tendency to procrastinate so if you can condition your mind to take action as fast as possible your likelihood of succeeding with motivation is going to be substantially higher this is well-known quote that goes success love speed I've been reading this book called ready fire aim one of the best business books I've ever read read and in this book it talks about how money loves speed because in a business context whenever you get an idea whenever you learn a tactic that can work the longer you delay the slower your business is gonna grow and so this book encourages you to fire as fast as possible and it's the same with anything within our lives think about the next time that you're considering going to the gym don't think about going to the gym as soon as you think to yourself okay you know what I could benefit from a workout right now get off your butt and actually walk towards the gym put on your gym clothes and start moving one exercise I do for myself is from a young age I've always been really nervous talking to one kind of person girls that I'm attracted to right I can talk to any kind of entrepreneur any person of status anyone who's older than me but if I see a girl who's super pretty I get all of a sudden super intimidated so what did I do ever since I started getting high school university even now if I see someone who I find to be really beautiful I'll walk up I'll have a conversation I'll give them value I'll tell them hey I think you're really beautiful not to be creepy or any kind of way but just to genuinely give value and in doing that that programs and conditions me to take instant immediate action the bottom line is the fact the faster that you can take action, the faster that you're going to progress while maintaining your motivation. The second life hack that I want to give you is called an identity shift. Now look, we cannot do certain actions if we don't see ourselves as someone that can perform those actions. I learned this from mentors Joel Marin as well as Kilmo Dan Long from their podcast, Born to Impact podcast. Once you're done with this video, I'd highly encourage you to check out the podcast. I'll put a link in the description. Now in one of these episodes, they talk about the identity of a smoker versus someone who's trying to quit. Now for the purpose of this example, let's say that you've struggled with smoking. Now on one hand, if someone who is trying to quit smoking is approached by someone who says, oh, would you like a cigarette? The right way to go about this is someone would say, I don't smoke. But the wrong way to go about it is someone who would say, oh no, I'm trying to quit smoking. You see, it's so subtle, but one person is actually having an identity shift is already identifying them as someone who doesn't smoke. So if you've never smoked in your life and you have no interest in it, obviously if someone were to ask you, hey, do you want to get a cigarette? You're going to say, oh no, I'm not a smoker. However, the person who is still identifying themselves as an addict who is trying to quit is going to have a very difficult time because they're still associating themselves with their previous identity. The hack number three I want to give to you is to establish minimum KPIs. KPI is a business term. It stands for Key Performance Indicator. And at the end of the day, whenever I look at anyone within my business, any team member, I hold them all to certain KPIs. So for example, if you have a salesperson, a closer working for your organization, they have a KPI of bringing in a certain amount of cash every single week. So let me ask, what are those KPIs within your life, within your business, within your personal life and when it comes to your fitness because if you set KPIs too high oftentimes you're gonna approach a mountain that's too intimidating and you won't get your goals done so setting a minimum KPI is essentially breaking down your goals into the smallest chunks possible now I know we've been talking specifically about business but this applies to every area of your life look if you're trying to lose 25 pounds of fat you can't possibly do that in just one or two weeks so rather than set that as a large large goal why not chunk that down into a minimum KPI of this week and the next seven days you're going to lose one pound just one pound because when you do that guess what over the course of 10 15 20 weeks eventually you will hit that goal now right now I actually want to do the one minute shot clock and this is where I answer one of your questions so if you have a question for me type high performance question drop it in the comments below and the most like question might just get on next week's video now the question here is from Rohan and the question goes how do you stick to an evening hard stop on work when there is always that voice in your head telling you you need to work until bedtime now Rohan that's a fantastic question and the only reason why you're asking that is because you are already on your way to becoming high performance most average individuals would not think about working later right in fact most people would want to try to minimize the work do as little work as possible so I can already tell Rohan that you're a very hard worker but I need you to start to reframe because the thing is if you start to work until bedtime eventually you're gonna burn out you don't have enough downtime I remember thinking back to when I was at UCLA back in university I would always work until the last 15 minutes go brush my teeth go shower and then hit my head on the 
the pillow. And the problem with this is this is not sustainable. Remember, the tortoise will always beat the hare in the long run, and we're not trying to win a short 100 meter dash. We're trying to win the marathon. So sure, you can probably work for seven, 14, even 21 days from the time that you wake up all the way to the time your head hits the pillow. But how long can you keep that up for? Try to shorten it, have enough buffer time in the evening so that you can relax and recharge, and you're gonna be able to win the race in the long run. Now, the fourth hack I wanna share with you is to shift your environment. Look, if you're lacking in motivation right now, get some motivation from other people. You might feel a little motivated as I'm speaking to you on this YouTube video, but let me ask you about the current people in your immediate surrounding. Who else in your community is motivating you? Because if the immediate circle within your life is not genuinely pushing you to grow faster, you have to find other people, new people within your circle. There is a very deliberate reason why I'm living here on the 27th floor of this building. It's not because this building is special, it's because my brother, my friend, Jason Maxwell lives here. Jason runs a multiple seven figure business. Last year when I was a broke college student, he had done multiple six figures in his business and I knew I gotta build a friendship. I gotta build a relationship with him. Fast forward one year from now, I'm actually living with him. And if you watch any of my videos, you know that I trained Muay Thai with Mike Zhang. Now Mike is not just a Muay Thai or boxing coach. If you didn't know, he's running a business that's going to cross $10 million in sales this year. I'm very, very careful with the people that I'm surrounded with because nowadays, if I'm not the youngest, if I'm not the quote unquote poorest person within my circle, I know that I got to get into a different kind of circle. So when you shift your environment and get into a community of people who are faster, stronger, smarter, and make more money than you do, it pushes you and it keeps you humble. Motivation comes with other people, not only from yourself. Now look, if you're not in a good community right now, if you're not satisfied with the people within your immediate circle, you need to get into a community of high performers. And that's why this coming Saturday, I'm actually going to be hosting a free live high performance masterclass. I'm going to show you how to double your productivity, take 10 to 12 hours off your current work week. It's going to happen this coming Saturday. So if you want to come into this live masterclass, go ahead and click the link down below on the screen, type your name, your email, and I'll see you on Saturday's masterclass. Now look on this masterclass. It's so cool because not only is it going to be an awesome 90 minute presentation, but I'm also going to be giving you my personal high performance planner. This took me over six months to formulate as well as my personal weekly schedule. And then on top of this, I'm giving away free iPads on this live masterclass so you do not want to miss out. And hey, if you got value from this video, make sure you hit like and you subscribe to this channel. And also, I want to remind you that this video was 100% free for you. My team and I, my operations team, my video editing team, we spend a lot of time, money, and energy to provide this free value to you. So if you got any value from this video, go ahead and share with a friend. Copy the link, text it to a friend, and also make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'm going to put it right there. And I cannot wait to see you next time. And remember, how you do one thing is how you do everything. I'll see you later.